we're going to look at an interesting reaction with wire wool and then we're going to relate it to conservation of mass in an intriguing way. But if you prefer a more conventional review of conservation of mass, look at videos between the reaction of uh, lead nitrate solution and potassium iodide solution. Or for student performed experiments, uh, the instructions are described at the end of this video. So we're going to use some unusual apparatus uh, a setup making a, a balance and uh, a teacher performed experiment and the safety precautions you're going to wash the wool in acetone and return the bottle uh, to the store before you light a Bunsen burner but you've also got to do the washing of the wire wool pads 24 hours before you do the experiment and allow that acetone to evaporate. Remember, if we're heating uh, the equipment, it's going to get hot and uh, students should uh, stay three meters away, 10 feet away, and put a cookie sheet under the whole apparatus. And you're going to use uh, wire wool pads that don't have soap on them, often the ones that are used for uh, smoothing uh, furniture if you're making it or uh, renovating it. Uh, you'll get instructions for the balance. And here, rinse non-soapy wire wool pads in acetone that dispose of the used acetone in your volatile organic chemical container uh, and allow them the pads to dry for 24 hours in a, in a fume hood. Uh, tease the pads slightly uh, rather than having them tightly packed, and only one of them is going to be heated uh, with a Bunsen burner. Now, pause the video so you can predict what you think will ha happen and everything that you think will happen. And then pause again to explain what you just predicted. Why did you make those predictions? And again, the safety. Uh, watch out for hot objects, uh, wearing goggles, uh, students 10 feet away, and uh, the acetone should be dried for 24 hours. Heat only one of the pads for three to four minutes, and as you do that, describe what you see happening, and try and explain what you've just seen. And it may help you if you think about a reaction having taken place and write the equation for that reaction and is the other pad reacting and what's its equation. So if it's the law of conservation of mass and didn't you expect the balance bar to remain horizontal, uh, put a yes or no answer and explain it. And here, uh, if it's in contravention of the law of conservation of mass, uh, should the equipment be arrested? So returning to the hint and the reaction, what's actually happening? Did you expect one to get heavier and why? Think about the reaction. And here are some further questions. So pause because you want to write your answers to each of these. And then there's a video of the activity and having seen...
activity, solidify your knowledge, describe why the overall mass of the chemicals is conserved in a chemical reaction. And how does this balance experiment explain the law of conservation of mass, even though one side gets heavier? And here are the answers to the previous set of uh, uh, questions, or one set of answers. There may be a few alternatives. And for this experiment uh, being performed, we need to thank Team Science at Washington International School uh, for the kind use of their labs. And here are the instructions to make the balance. And I'm not going to go through them in detail because they're written with full explanations, and you can pause the video. Uh, we've got the materials. Uh, here's a, a diagram showing the materials, uh, the equipment that you need. Um, so an adult um, familiar with use has to do, uh, do the construction. Uh, diagram here is a checkoff list. And drilling, and remember to uh, clamp before drilling. Um, drilling uh, one end um, of the thicker dowel. And the second part is cut a V-shape on the other end of the dowel. Uh, and then drill through the base, but put a waste piece of wood underneath and that, and clamp it um, before hammering in. So you make, make the base, and you're now going to drill into the pointed end of the wider dowel. Uh, small hole, because you're going to put um, maize nails um, in pointy end up. And the thinner piece of dowel, you're going to drill to uh, both ends so you can put lengths of wire in both ends, or you can straighten out a paper clip. And then you'll assemble it. This is the final assembly with two non-soapy wire wool pads that you've cleaned 24 hours before. And that's the, uh, the set of instructions for making it. And here are instructions for uh, student-performed experiments that you might want to do. This is one with a, a baby bottle. Uh, again, pause it to get those. And then there are two others which are baggy experiments, one with calcium chloride and baking soda. Again, pause to, to get those. And uh, the second baggy experiments uh, with vinegar and sodium bicarbonate. Uh, again, with some questions on the end uh, to deal with uh, your observations and data. Enjoy.